I'm very excited to be here tonight and talk to you guys about empowering kids through character. As many of you know, today's youth are facing so many risks and challenges. Self-esteem, mental health issues, bullying, suicide, drugs. There's a lot of challenges that they are facing. A recent survey of middle school students reported back that 18% of middle school students in DuPage County report using substances in the past year. 38% said they've been bullied in the past year. Recently, I was having a conversation with a social worker at my eldest son's school, and she shared with me that the stresses and anxiety levels that she used to see almost always only in eighth graders approaching that high school level have now pushed down younger and younger, and she's seeing them in sixth grade, sometimes even fifth graders just coming into sixth grade. So it's really important that we provide children with the tools that they need to handle any challenge that may come their way. I believe that Inside Out Club is a piece of that solution. The Inside Out Club provides children and families with opportunities to practice social and emotional learning skills and volunteer. Our mission is to develop kids with character inside and out. Because we believe if you empower children and families through character and volunteerism, not only will they thrive, but they will improve the communities in which we all live. So why is social and emotional learning important? CASEL, which is the Collaborative Academic for Social and Emotional Learning, which is actually located here in Illinois, did a study of a whole bunch of long-term SEL programs. And they found that students with a foundation in social and emotional learning are less likely to have a clinical mental health disorder, are less likely to be arrested, or be diagnosed with a conduct disorder. They are, however, more likely to graduate from high school and college. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our school program. Uh, the Inside Out Club school program is one of the opportunities that we provide to children and families. Uh, and it started three years ago here in Naperville. Actually, at the elementary school where my children go, we piloted this program, and we had a group of 25 students. Now, just three years later, we're in 32 schools with 1,390 students in the program. This program is volunteer run, so we train the volunteers, we provide them with the curriculum and everything they need to execute the lessons in the schools, and then they go out and they actually lead the lessons on behalf of the Inside Out Club. Last year we had 199 volunteers give over 2,000 hours of time to implement the Inside Out Club school program. I wanted to tell you a bit about the curriculum, is that's really what's critical to making what we do special is that combination of that inside piece with the outside piece. So we focus on eight character traits and building those in kids, combined with education around social causes and connecting them to local not-for-profit organizations. The curriculum is uh, at the school level is three years rolling. We have about 23, 24 different lessons. If a child were to participate in all of those lessons, they would learn about over 30 local not-for-profit organizations. I want to spend a few minutes just telling you a bit about the character traits and the social causes. So the eight traits that we focus on are acceptance, collaboration, curiosity, empathy, gratitude, kindness, perseverance, and self-awareness. I want to take a minute to focus in on a few of those that I think really relate to what we're all here for tonight. Acceptance. The outcomes we're trying to build in kids around acceptance are learning how to allow others to belong unconditionally, to understand and get to know people for who they are on the inside. I believe that if you can master acceptance, it's the key to building and maintaining long-term relationships. Curiosity. I think curiosity is so underrated. Curiosity is what helps people become fearless innovators. It helps people make change in the world. But you have to be brave. So one of the things we talk to kids about is being brave enough to ask questions. Although many of them are already really good at it. I think it's us adults that need the practice on being brave to ask questions. Kindness. You know, I always tell my kids, when in doubt, be kind. If somebody's being mean to you, be kind. Choose kindness. Because 99% of the time, the reason they're being mean to you has nothing to do with you. So choosing kindness. 
Self-awareness. I think there is no harder job than figuring out who you are as a person, how you can manage your emotions, identifying those emotions in the first place and being able to recognize your biases and feelings, and then taking all of that and being able to embrace yourself and being able to work towards your strengths. So self-awareness is a real key skill that we try to build on for children. The six social, tra six social causes that we focus on are embracing humanity, meeting basic needs, protecting the planet, supporting our troops and veterans, developing character, and being socially responsible. Again, for tonight's talk, just want to focus in on two of these. Embracing humanity. You know, this is really around organizations that support what we heard earlier around getting to know somebody as a human being, right? Just forgetting all the differences, forgetting, you know, all the things on the outside, forgetting gender and race and all these, and just connecting one-to-one -one as a human being. That's what embracing humanity is all about. And being socially responsible. You know, instilling in kids from a very young age that it's important. And not only is it important, but we have a responsibility to care for others, to care for animals, to care for the planet. You know, and then if you can instill that at a young age, then children are gonna go out and make a difference. And they're gonna connect. And we are gonna be able to change the I and the me to us and we, if we can get this going at a young age. The Inside Out Club is already having, having an impact, which is always super exciting to see. I wanted to share a couple quotes with you guys, one from a parent and one from a student. Actually, I forgot. I wanted to share with you first an example of one of our school lessons that kind of ties together the curriculum I was just talking about. This lesson is called Celebrating Physical Diversity. And again, it's around that, that cause of embracing humanity and trying to get to know people for their abilities, not focusing on their disabilities. In this lesson, students practice acceptance, kindness, and empathy. You can see on the photo to the left, they have on goggles, and we've smeared Vaseline onto the goggles to try to mirror what it might be like to have a vision impairment. The image on the right, they have on gloves, and they're trying to put beads onto pipe cleaners using gloves. And while they're doing these activities, we ask them, so how long do you think it would take you to get, to you know, get ready for bed tonight, or be ready for school tomorrow, or eat dinner? You know, what would it feel like if this was your new reality? And then how do we take that and talk about how we can include people at school who maybe have a disability or are different than us? So that's an example lesson around um, from the school program. And now I'm going to share those couple quotes with you. After my son's first meeting, he told me they were doing important things for the community. I think this was the first time he felt like he had a real impact on his community. His view of his world and the world in general grew three sizes that day. We come here because we make stuff. We do stuff. We learn about people in need and we want to help them. It's all about giving to people who don't have things. So this is uh, sharing a little bit about the Inside Out Club and the impact we're ha having, but I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about what can we do? What can we all do in the room here tonight? And I'm going to go back to those, you know, a couple of those character traits and some of those causes and ask each and every one of you to think about how can you live your life inside and out? Are you being brave and asking questions? Are you allowing others to belong unconditionally? Are you choosing kindness over anger or being mean? And are you on that journey of self-awareness, that constant journey of always trying to improve and be aware of who you are as a person and embracing your authentic self? So I would challenge each and every one of you to go out and lead by example. If you're interested in learning more about the Inside Out Club or how you can support us, please visit our website, insideoutclub.org, and I also brought some information outside. And in closing, I just think I want to end with this quote from one of our students because I think it really sums it all up. I learned together. I learned if we work together, we can help change the world. Thank you so much.